This video is not for kids. Go do your homework. Before we get started today, I just wanted to say thank you so, so much to everyone that supported my doll shop that I just launched last week. This has been a lifelong dream of mine and I already have so many more ideas in the works and knowing that all of you are supporting me, I feel that much more excited to continue to make these things happen. So again, I just wanted to say thank you so much. It really means the world to me. And if you haven't seen it already, you can find it at johnnysdollshop.com. Bing! Anyway, on with the show. So it's almost Kit Kittredge's, I can't say that. So it's almost Kit Kittredge's 100th birthday and American Girl has re-released the original version of Kit along with some of the highlights of her original collection. And if you know me, you know I collect first editions, so I'm celebrating by getting my very first Kit doll and of course I got a first edition. She's actually from the very first month of production, so she is not only like from the first year, she is one of the first that were ever made. I do think American Girl has done a really great job of staying true to the original Kit doll because I've had really close look up at all of the collections online and the doll herself and she looks very very similar to the ones that they were making in the early 2000s so I think that they've done a really beautiful job with it and I also wanted to say like as a graphic designer I want to commend American Girl on doing such a beautiful job with the packaging on these because they're using that original burgundy color I believe the last time they used it was with the 35th anniversary dolls and I just think it looks so beautiful with the original historical characters and I hope they continue to use that color moving forward with some of these older dolls because to me that looks more historical to me just with that more muted color and again the graphic design on it I think they did a wonderful job so I hope they continue to do more of that because I think that Kit's new packaging actually looks better than the original packaging from 2000. Based on the language on the website I think they are basically promoting Kit as a limited edition release well the new version anyway because they still have the Be Forever version, but it does say limited quantities, so I don't know if they're going to restock that version or if they're just going to maybe quietly change the packaging and the re-release of Kit will actually be the same version as the original, sort of like they did with Molly's release last year or her re-release last year. I really hope they're going to permanently bring back the original version of Kit's outfit because I like it so much better than the Be Forever version. And I'm not a person that's a real hater on the Be Forever line. I, obviously, I like the original better, but I think it's kind of fun to have something that's like a little bit quirky and weird from several years ago. But I do have to say Kit's outfit from the Be Forever collection is my least favorite of all of them. So I just personally hope that they keep this re-release version and don't go back to the green dress from Be Forever. I would say my only criticism of this re-release is I wish they had brought her Christmas outfit back, but I'm guessing because it's spring they probably didn't want to start trying to sell a Christmas outfit in, you know, April and May, so maybe there's a chance they'll bring it back at the end of the year, but I have noticed that like with Molly, who was released in the summer, you know, they still didn't bring back her Christmas outfit, but I'm not sure why they're doing that. I'm guessing maybe it's because they think they can only sell them seasonally and they're trying to bring back more permanent staples into the collection. But yeah, other than that, I think they did a really great job with the re-release of Kit, so I'm so excited about it. So anyway, let me show you my doll. I've been rambling about American Girl, but I know you clicked on this video because you want to see a doll, so let me grab her. So this is my mint condition, first edition version of Kit Kittredge, and I just got her a couple of weeks ago, actually. So yeah, this is my first time seeing seeing a kit doll in person and while she's obviously not my favorite historical doll as you can see by my background because I have like a hundred thousand Molly and Samanthas uh this is such a cute doll I remember getting her and well I wasn't gonna be sure if I was gonna like her or not because I've always kind of been a little bit of a critic of this short haircut which admittedly like the Karen hair is not my favorite haircut for a doll because I like when they have long hair that you can brush and play with and style and stuff but she is so cute and you know I can totally understand why she was one of the most popular dolls for a long time with American Girl and she hasn't been retired I don't think since they originally released her so she's been going about 23 years strong now so good for you little girl. But yeah as you can see if you know anything about the early versions of Kit they are known to have more round faces. I'm gonna try and get her in a little bit closer so you can see but she's definitely got that hallmark super chubby super cute face that the original Kit dolls have and I think I said it in the intro or earlier on in the video but she is from 
July of the year 2000, and that's her manufacturing date. So they probably released her, I think, sometime in the fall, but this one was from the first batch of ones ever made, and I'll tell you in a second how I know that. But I just wanted to admire her cuteness for a little bit longer because, like I said, this is my first kit doll, so it feels like a momentous day in the doll... I was gonna say the dollhouse, which sounds crazy, but at this point, I basically live in a dollhouse. So yeah, of course, she's got the original outfit with a super cute, like, dusty lavender lilac cardigan with the matching short sleeve sweatshirt, this cute little floral print skirt, and she's got the original shoes that have real functioning buckles. I've got her on a doll stand. Let me take her off this doll stand. There's no reason to have her on it. I display her standing up, but they're, you know, it's kind of annoying to look at it in the video. Let me take this off real quick. And if you're wondering where I got that doll stand, I actually got them on Amazon, they're Kaiser brand. And if you click the link to my brand new shop that I just opened last week, I actually have a link there that if you click it and buy it through my website within 24 hours, I'll actually get a commission on it. And Kit would love that very much. So anyway, back to Kit. She came with her original box and it's a little bit beat up, but as you would expect, uh, cause it's again, it's 23 years old, but she even still has her original hand tag. And I believe these have the hair care instructions. Let's see. Yeah, I believe this is mostly hair care instruction. So th they've been doing these since 1986. Um, you know, and this is just always fun to have a tag. It kind of makes the doll feel new to display her with a tag on it. So I tend to do that if I have a tag for the doll. So yeah, I would consider this doll mint condition. And I actually bought her from a new friend in the community. That's one thing I love about buying dolls in Facebook groups is you actually end up meeting some really interesting people and sometimes they become your friend. And it's always fun to just get to know people from all different walks of life and discuss your love of dolls and I mean who doesn't love doing that so yeah I love it when I buy a doll and get to meet somebody new that's so much fun but anyway yeah she has the original clip in her hair this is one of those things that kind of tends to get lost over the years I always feel like people are putting out search posts trying to find this uh, barrette that goes in her hair but she came with that and again I love this outfit because if you've been watching this channel before you know that this color is actually one of my favorite colors I don't know why but I really love like a pinky lilac color it's just I don't know, it's very pleasing to my eye. So yeah, anyway, this is a first edition. And like I said, one of the first ways you can tell she has a really round face, but a lot of the early kits do have brown faces. And another key item that helps you spot a first edition kit, or at least an early kit, is the freckle pattern on her face. She's gonna have, I don't know if you can see super well here, but she there's like a gap on her, like the bridge of her nose where the freckles don't connect. Um, that's the best I can describe it, but if you look on the newer kits, that bridge of her nose really doesn't have many freckles on it at all. So if you're comparing kit dolls, a lot of times you can spot the earlier ones by noticing not as much of a gap in the freckles on the bridge of her nose like you can in the newer ones. And I believe the newly re-released kits actually have that big gap in freckles on their nose. So again, that's another way to tell a super early version of Kit is by her freckle pattern. Also, another thing you can do is check her neck stamp. That's another way of learning if she's super early. And this girl's hair, you know what? I'm not gonna mess this girl's hair up. I, she hasn't been played with. So I can tell like the hair on her neck looks like it's still kind of pressed down like it was in the factory. So I really don't wanna disturb it. But I, if I can find a screenshot, I can kind of show you from somebody else's doll. I might even steal it from an eBay listing, let's be honest. But um, I'll put a picture here to show you what an original kit neck stamp should look like. And it will say Pleasant Company and it'll be sort of in that like hand carved lettering. It won't be like a perfect stamp. And it certainly won't say American Girl, it will say Pleasant Company. Another thing for a first edition or early kit is she's gonna have a body tag and it's gonna be the short version of it. And this girl's is kind of tucked in her skirt and I'm, I really don't wanna undress her even though she it's possible she's been undressed before. I'm not totally sure. but. You you can kind of see here that she's got the original body tag and it's the one I believe it has um, it's not the year 2008 it just has the number 2008 printed on it I'm not totally sure why that specific number I don't know if anyone's ever figured out exactly why they use that number but the real tried and true way of figuring out the date of an early edition kit is actually popping her head off because there's a shoulder tag that's just under her basically once you take her head off if you like look underneath her shoulder there's actually a tag in there that has a code for the month and the year and it'll be punched out depending on what month and year she was manufactured so that's how you know exactly what year your kit was made well 
actually down to the month, which is really great. I wish we had those in the early Pleasant Company dolls because that would have saved us so much time on the Facebook groups trying to figure out what's what. But they actually tell you on the early kit dolls, which I love. And I'll, again, I'll put a picture in here. I don't want to take this girl's head off, even though it, the previous owner did take her head off to show me that she is a July 2000. So again, I was so happy to get a first month, but I'll show you a picture of what the shoulder tag looks like. And anyway, basically the way it works is the it's done by month and year. So the month will be done by a letter of the alphabet. So A will be January, B will be February, and so on. And then again, the zero through, I think it was, is nine, will be based on the year it was made. So this girl is going to be a G zero, which means July 2000. And again, very first month of production of kit. I think it's only the dolls with the short body tags that have that. So if you have a later edition kit, like if you bought one that was made just a few years ago, I don't believe she's going to have that. It's really mainly used for collectors to figure out what month the early versions of kit were made. And if you're lucky enough to have the original box that came with your kit doll, and another way of knowing she's a first edition is she's going to have the pinstripe white box with the burgundy band on it. I'll show you the one I got, but I actually have one that's a little bit special because it's the one that has the full window on the front, which was the ones I believe they exclusively used at the American Girl Place when they first uh, opened. So uh, my box is a little bit different, but she's still a first edition kit. Let me show you the box real quick. So it doesn't have the burgundy band that originally came with it, but I think I randomly have one that I might just pair with this. And again, this is not in the most amazing shape because again, it's 23 years old, but I don't know if you can see that there's actually a very, very subtle pin striping on the box. And it's probably impossible to see on camera, but I believe they started doing these around the time of the American Girl Today line, which would have been 1995. And so again, a first edition kit can either have this version of the pin stripe box, or it will be completely solid on the front, like with just this type of like pinstripe box basically. So there's no window on the ones that were ordered through the catalog. And again, they'll have the same burgundy band. But anyway, that's just kind of a fun fact. If for some reason you're trying to like look at an eBay listing and say like, is that a first edition kit? I'm not sure. It definitely won't be if it doesn't have this box or the solid front version of this box. And again, we have a first edition pamphlet. This is the original pamphlet that came with the doll, I believe, which is really cool. It's got a copyright year of 2000 Pleasant Company on it. So again, this is that transitional phase when American Girl had or Mattel had already bought Pleasant Company and I believe they probably started changing the name pretty much right away after purchasing the company from Pleasant Roland. So you have that transitional period from like 1998 into the early 2000s where some things will say Pleasant Company, some things will say American Girl and this one happens to say both. It says copyright 2000 by Pleasant Company, all rights reserved and it has the American Girl logo on it. So this would be from that transitional phase. Again, Kit was released in I think it was like the fall of 2000 and Mattel had purchased Pleasant Company in I don't, don't know what month but they bought it in 1998 from Pleasant Roland so they had already been ro working on kit obviously it takes a couple years to develop these dolls and from what we all understand Pleasant Roland actually worked on the development of the kit doll and I believe she stayed on board with the company for a couple years after selling it so Pleasant Roland had a really big hand in developing this doll which is again really cool for somebody like me who collects mostly vintage stuff it still feels like I have have a very early Pleasant Company item, even though, you know, you know, kit was released. Well, I can't do the math in my head. Is that like 14 years after the launch of Pleasant Company? So, you know, in the grand scheme of things, that's really still kind of a cool thing to have. So again, I plan on keeping this kit. I searched her out knowing that she was getting re-released. And I just, I thought for a second, I might get a brand new one from American Girl, like just buying it on their website. But I just, I knew better. I knew that I was going to want a first edition. And as soon as I bought one direct from Mattel, I'd be on the hunt for a first edition. So I'm glad I did it this way, especially because I got one that's in such good shape. But anyway, that's her pamphlet. And again, this one came with the original version of Meat Kit, which admittedly I haven't read yet because I was so excited I wanted to go ahead and get this video done. But you know, I think my reading comprehension is good enough that I could probably read this, you know, in a very short amount of time. But truth be told, I kind of want to watch the movie. I watched the trailer for it a couple of times and it looks like it's a legit good movie. I mean, it's got an all-star cast in it. I mean, it's got uh, Stanley Tucci, 
uh, Joan Cusack and Jane Krakowski. I absolutely love Jane Krakowski. She, anything she's in, like I just absolutely laugh my butt off. So yeah, I really think I want to watch this movie before too long. And you know, maybe I'll watch it on Kit's birthday. That might be a fun thing to do, but it actually looks like it's going to be a legit good movie. So uh, maybe I'll read the book first and do some comparisons. But yeah, um, if I watch it, do you want me to do a reaction video, like uh, watching the movie and reacting to it? Uh, I think that might be kind of fun. So if you want, want to see that, let me know down in the comments. So yeah, this is my new Kit Kittredge doll who I love so much. And I don't have a permanent space for her on my shelves, but like I said, I'm moving in the next couple of months. So my display is probably just gonna stay like this until we move into the next house. And I'll probably try and pick a more prominent place to put uh, Kit and I got Josefina and I'm gonna do a video about her really soon. But um, yeah, I've got a few dolls kind of put over to the side that I'll probably will show at the end of the collection video that I'm still working on. I'm just ha I'm doing it in multiple parts. So uh, I think I'm up to like part two and I'm about to release part three of it. But I think by like part five or so, there's some extra dolls I have like Kit who are just kind of uh, off to the side because like I said, I'm moving and I'm just buying more dolls than I should be right now. So uh, anyway, she's going to kind of sit to the side over next to Josefina and my number four and oh, my Julie doll, Jan Brady. Uh, so yeah, I've kind of decided, at least for now, that I want to try and get one of all of the historical characters. So that's why I felt like it was a good time to go ahead and get Kit because I, you know, I think I will get one of all the historical characters just for fun because I'm finding more and more that I'm liking getting my hands on newer stuff. When I first started collecting, you know, I was really most interested in the first and second, you know, years of Pleasant Company, which again is my true love. It's what I love more than anything, but I have been having a lot of fun getting some newer dolls. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, don't forget to shop at johnnysdollshop.com. Uh, like I said before, I just opened a doll shop and I'm doing it full time now. So anytime you purchase something on the site or, uh, buy something through an Amazon link or watch an ad on this video, uh, you're helping me keep a roof over my head. So I really appreciate it so much to everyone that's supported the shop so far. It really does mean the world to me. Be sure to follow me and Kit on TikTok at iDreamofJohnny and Instagram at iDreamofJohnny. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and join me every week so we can hang out and talk about dolls. And I also would love it if you would hit the like button and leave a comment below. I read all the comments and I really do appreciate everyone that takes the time out of their day to not only watch the video, but let me know what they thought of everything. And until next time, please take care of yourself and I will see you very soon. <laughs> Bye for now.